math. Everyone has to deal with it. Whether it's something you're passionate about or something you feel forced to do, it's in our lives. I guess anything relating to numbers could be labeled as math, but browsing speedrun.com, I found a surprising amount of games that I think fit this category pretty well. Today, let's answer the question, can you speedrun math games? And the answer is yes. Before we start, there is a giant overlap with both the speedrun community and the STEM field, and that is why I want to talk about today's sponsor, Brilliant. You're watching a video touching on math, so hey, why don't you try one of Brilliant's many math courses like I did? I personally enjoyed Mathematical Fundamentals, which was great as someone trying to dip their toes back into math-related skills. Using Brilliant's interactive courses, I really enjoyed that I could review concepts I learned years ago such as Pythagorean's Theorem without zero judgment. But hey, if you're part of one of the many talented programmers in the speedrun community, you may be more inclined to check out the computer science side of things, and luckily Brilliant has that too. Since it's been a bit for me, I tried out the computer science fundamentals course, and I haven't programmed in a hot minute, so reviewing different kinds of algorithms using these interactive visuals really got me back into the swing of things. And that is what is so great about Brilliant. Literally anyone can grasp the concepts of the STEM field. In school, I was definitely always more of a visual than a direct lecture kind of learner, and these courses really support that. To learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash storester and sign up for free. The first 200 people who go to the link will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you so much to Brilliant, and let's get on with the video. Let's start off nice and simple with Donkey Kong Jr. Math. It's Donkey Kong but Jr. and Math. What else is there to say? Like a lot of other NES black box games, there are usually multiple modes to pick from, and in this case there's Calculate A and B, and there's also a third exercise mode. For speedruns, there is a Calculate A and Calculate B category, and the only difference really is just single player versus multiplayer. At the top of the screen you get a number, and your goal is to make an equation using the numbers on the ropes and the symbols on the ground. To complete a run, you need to solve 5 equations. Over 30 people have run Category A, with the record only being around 65 seconds, and the less popular B category being 30 seconds longer. This game has shockingly been re-released a few times over the years, with it being playable on Animal Crossing and on both the Wii and Wii U Virtual Console. Not everyone has been as fond of this game as speedrunners have. IGN notably labeled it as one of the worst Virtual Console games ever, with an IGN Australian writer going on a rant about virtual numbers and monkeys. Glad I am not that guy. Being a parody of edutainment games, Frog Fractions isn't about fractions, but it does involve frogs. The only kind of fractions you'll see is your score. While this isn't a proper math game, I thought it was still fun to include anyway. There are many upgrades, with the most notable being a flying dragon named Draggy. The main any percent category uses a majority of these upgrades, and the run has multiple sections including visits to space, the deep depths of the waters, and of course, Dance Dance Revolution. This section has two notable strategies. One is being able to skip text boxes by mashing the spacebar. Due to the game trying to overlap two text boxes at once, the second text box never appears. Secondly, you can end the DDR section earlier by keeping the performance meter at at least halfway for roughly 57 seconds. After that, you can stop playing, and it displays a text box about failing, which ultimately takes priority over the ending text box and decides to just move on. For a joke game where basic math is swapped with frog shenanigans, it's been run a surprising amount of times, with over 50 players between the any% percent and any% percent no major skips categories. Moving on, we got Personal Trainer Math, and wow, that is a lot. Speedrun.com has a stroke trying to display all these categories, I will tell you that. This game is a part of the Personal Trainer series that Nintendo released to make the DS to appeal as many people as possible, including those who remember when sliced bread was invented. Unlike the previous game, this is an actual math title that has quite a lot of training exercises. There are daily tests, practice exercises, and a training mode called the Kageyama method that uses repetition for basic math problems. Apparently this dude's method was notable enough to get more titles released in Japan. These games generally intend for you to hold the DS like a book, which half the older people picking up a DS would probably do anyways. I definitely don't have time to cover every little category here, 
but a majority of these records are held by Testing Speedrun 69 which may be the best username I've ever had to mention on this channel. Going back a handful of console generations, we have Basic Math, aka Fun With Numbers, on the Atari 2600. And, uh, what do I even say about this? This game is just doing math equations on an Atari. These are... graphics, I can say that at least. Every category is under 30 seconds, with each type of math problem category having a set, and random problem subcategory. Love the colors puke green and puke green with blue sprinkled on top. Moving a couple generations forward again, we got Math Blaster Episode 1, In Search of Spot, released on the Super Nintendo. This game has three main sections, Trash Sapper, Cave Runner, and Math Blaster. Just like a lot of other games today, there are four main categories, Addition Percent, Subtraction Percent, multiplication percent, and division percent. These different categories can be selected by changing the math difficulty number, which goes from 1 to 12. Each category is pretty self-explanatory, with the records ranging between 10 to 12 minutes. There is also a game over percent category, try and game over as quickly as possible. Additionally, there's an all difficulty percent category, with the record being over 2.5 hours. Imagine wanting to solve basic math equations for that long. All we need now is a percent percent, which requires percenting the percentage in a certain percent of the percent. If you couldn't tell, I hate the percent in category names unless the game actually uses a percentage. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this before. May not be the last. One last tiny tidbit is that there is a Math Blaster Episode 2, but it was never released on the Super Nintendo. It's a very sad day for the Math Blaster community. Next is a game in the Reader Rabbit series, which, jeez, has a lot of games. This rabbit reads, writes, rescues, and even... cart races? Is there a game where Reader Rabbit goes to Ikea? <laughs> Anyways, the game I want to talk about is Reader Rabbit's Math, ages 6 to 9, so if you are not in that age range, then sorry, you are not allowed to play this. There are three categories on speedrun.com, with Fix the Boat being the most popular. The goal is to reach the end of the game as quickly as possible, and time ends right before the final cutscene, which plays when you collect all 48 boat pieces. I don't know about you, but if your boat is scattered in that many pieces, you may just want to consider getting a new one. Either way, four people have run this, with that dude Bacon having a time of just a bit over 8 minutes. Next we have Geometry Dash, which is... Hold on a second, S sorry. I'm being told this is not really a math game. Can't believe I've been lied to. Next. You've seen Mario scour hotels, and you've seen him missing, but have you seen him have fun with numbers? Mario's Early Years, Fun With Numbers, is one of the many Nintendo edutainment games from the 90s that was released primarily for both MS-DOS and consoles. The game has different islands, with each one having a different activity. There is both a number and a counting island, so I thought this game qualified enough to be here. When else am I going to ever talk about this game? Anyways. There's the 6 islands category, which seems to be the 80% fastest completion equivalent, and around the world, which is the 100% equivalent. Some of the other islands don't have any activities and can simply be entered and left, and this is why both categories are only around 20 seconds apart. And lastly, I really hate the child text and speech voice that gives you instructions throughout. It is different. It does not belong. Next is one of the many Blue's Clues games released between 1998 and 2000. Blue's Clues Counting with Cash Register. You are at the present store, where there are 9 different items you can buy. Except the economy sucks, so you only get $12. Better spend it wisely. Oh wait, you can't. The game forces you which items to buy, whether you like it or not. The items you are forced to buy, as well as which items are available, are completely random. The any percent category simply requires emptying your wallet as quickly as possible, which means for an optimal run, you want the sentient cash register to force two $6 purchases. Only 5 people have ran this, with the world record being 39 seconds by JPIN, who we have previously talked about in regards to shooting ladders on the GBA, and has ran a couple M&M games, so basically this person is my soulmate. Moving on, Sketches World Edition. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Sorry, I'm getting breaking news. You're telling me Sketch also does subtraction? Next, you're gonna tell me they also do multiplication and. Oh my god. 
Not gonna lie, I don't know too much about these games, but they seem to be pretty basic. They feature math problems, and in between feature short platforming sections, and I just found it interesting that people cared enough about these games to make an entire leaderboard series on speedrun.com. Up next we got, you can't do simple m m m sorry, I I'm too American to say the M word with an S after it, so let me just get some text to speech to help me. Just, just one second. You can't do simple maths under pressure. Alright, that's better. This seems to be another pretty basic web game where the entire premise is just solving simple math problems as quickly as possible. This game has an alarming amount of categories on speedrun.com, but the most notable categories I'd say consist of 10 levels. This is split into two categories, click any percent and hold key any percent. The second name explains the rules pretty well. You can simply hold down a key to spam answers and get to the end as quickly as possible. To make sure I don't trigger anyone's epilepsy, I have slowed down these clips. The record for this category is only 8 seconds, and a really nice amount of people have ran the game as of making this. Lastly, we got Brain Age for the DS. This game has a variety of mental puzzles that use both the microphone and touchscreen to help keep your brain sharp. While there has been debate about how effective of a tool this game actually is, the game became the 4th best selling ever game on the DS with over 19 million copies sold. So either way, someone's wallet is happy. 15 people have run the Brain Age Check mode, which after a series of math problems, word puzzles, and number games, gives you an estimate of how old your brain supposedly is. This game was also shown at Awesome Games Done Quick 2016 with Taskbot playing back a roughly 20 minute tool assist that mostly just does art instead of actually doing the math problems. I definitely recommend it if you want a good laugh. While a lot of the games I mentioned today may not be classified as typical speedruns by most people watching, I hope you at least had a little bit of fun digging around games tied to the loose definition of math. Most of these games I probably would have never talked about, so hey, here we go. Let me know in the comments if there are any other math related speedruns you wished I touched upon. Not sure if I'd ever make a part 2, but hey, you never know. Thank you so much for watching.